according to the combine clock, it's 12.57, aka three minutes to one. The moisture is still 30%, or just under, because I think that's really percent high. Just got this little pass left of the winter wheat of Harvest 22. So I've only now got left some spring beans, some a little bit of spring wheat and some spring barley. And that is the wheat harvest complete. Quite frankly, it's been disappointing. Some bits of fields, bits of fields that normally lie wet, have yielded well, which normally yield rubbish because they're waterlogged. This year, they've yielded well. Any fields that are dry, just haven't done. Light land hasn't done. Uh, the later sown wheat seems to have done slightly better than the earlier sown wheat. I don't know whether that's because it was less affected by the dry weather at flowering time or the hot temperatures. I don't really know. But disappointing harvest of wheat this year and winter barley. And the rate wasn't that good either. So, yeah, never play, never work with children and animals. And Mother Nature can be a cow as well. So this is it, that's a wrap. I did estimate before I might be finished for one o'clock. The spout fell off, so we're at one minute past one. Just got the last 10 meters to go, but the pigeons have eaten this. Ta -da. Rob's just gonna go and block the road and then ring me when I can come through because it's, um, the other roads shut and this is too narrow to meet people on so there's loads of traffic on it. So the reflectors in the middle of the wheels and the fast track look cool don't they? Rob's just tipping the last load of the day. There is still a little bit left in the combine tank. Shed's filling up nicely though. Ben sent these replacement lights for the combine, but I don't think they're broken. I just think it was only there. Yeah. Sorry, Ben. I'll get. I will get a chance to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just that plugs come out, so we probably don't need them. But I suppose just in case they're all here. Yeah, I think the wires have got pulled out, so that now goes into there, and that should plug into there. And that one's like wrapping up so it can't get stuck on branches. Just come opening up the sunflowers ready for 12 o'clock. Uh, they are dying off a little bit. That wheat I want to cut really, but it's still got some green bits in it. Just with the tractors and the maze, just doing a quick litter pick. A few wrappers and plastic bottles and stuff mooching about. Uh, put them all in the bin. I think we got a stock of straw if anyone needs any this winter. This needs a clean out. Um, yeah, I think we might need to weld that. It's a flat pack. Big incident here, big police chase. I don't know whether the guys thought he could do that or he's got dementia, but it's caused a bit of chaos. One in that box. Have a look, it might be a box spanner. Um, shear bolt look. trouble. Have First shear bolt I think we've done on this trailer though, actually. It's, uh, I think Rob was a bit enthusiastic when he set off. So we'll see if we've got a, got a box spanner in the toolbox. Come with tools, you see. That's the tool we needed. And you having a toolbox. And he's back running. Not a lot to do, only a few rows over there. We did a bit last night, but it got damp. We got that bit there to do, and then quite a lot of Bill and Joe's, and some rape straw to do before it rains tomorrow or Tuesday. Try and get mocked up today if we can, though. There we go. Pick up rails, pick it up, throw it up there, big plunger, pushes it out of the back. This is the field we cut last night. So we cut all of that, well, all this really, because we cut this in the morning and then there's a footpath through the middle and then we cut that 65, 70 acre-ish the other side. When Rob took the pressure off the baler to start it after doing the shear bolt, it made a bale uh, 10 foot long. So that is the result. So you've got a foot there and a foot there longer than the one above that's eight foot. Not gonna focus. 
focus, focus, there we go. Watch out ladies. Rob's got his top off. Shaking his t-shirt because he's got dust on it. What is he doing over there? He's just feeling the bail as he's setting it on fire. So Oscar's just been watching me stack his draw and he said can he have a go so we give him a quick course and he's just stacked these four bales on his own. He just needs to work out his foot control on the throttle. That's it, down on that now. There you go, just tilted a bit more. That's it, right, back up now, slowly. Yeah, so them lads that I was a bit worried might be setting fire to the straw, actually just wanted to sit on a bale and watch us working. So after watching us for 20 minutes, I just said, I just went over to him, talking to him, and they play farming sim. And he said, can I have a go? And I was like, if you want, yeah, I'll just show you what to do. So give him a quick crash course in how to drive the Merlot and he managed to stack four bales without dropping any. He just needs to work a little bit on his throttle control but uh, made his day because he didn't think I was didn't think I was gonna let him. But hopefully a couple of years he might be on a job. Gonna have to improve a little bit first though. Gonna quickly rebuild this spike now. Weld it up. Just roughly welded this round here. Got my jumper on so I don't get burnt. Andrew's cut these plates. Now, do we want to put them there? There, or like that for strength? Let me know in the comments. Triangle, front or back. Plenty of bales on this field now. Jack's here as well with his drone. I know that's a tick up, but he's just had his drone out getting some videos of the baler working. That should look pretty cool when I get them. Forgot the guy up the road, Gino wanted his spring barley cut and completely forgot about it. So he just rang me then. I was like, Yeah, I'll come now. And he's like, All right, you've been on all these. So I'm just going to go and empty the tank because I've forgotten to go to the tank from yesterday. I'll try and fit it in the Merlot bucket. And then, uh, what is this? That's going out with the refurbished spike now. Stacks of straw up. This is what we couldn't fit in the trailer last night. So you know how it took them nearly a year, over a year to build a roundabout on the road? Well, they've been doing this for about three weeks because they're building houses on it. Look how quick they've nearly finished a roundabout or a huge T-junction. On this Sunday's edition of Women in Ag, we have Charlotte carting today. So last Sunday, I think, Olivia. Or is it Chester driving? This is the best wheat I've cut all year. It's actually coming off since 11.8, but the first load back is 10.5%. Unbelievable. Like I say, it's just like rice. It just touched five ton an acre actually a second ago. Bit of a heavy patch in the field here. Look at Chester there, supervising. Sat in his little seat. As you know, I'm on Twitter sometimes, and Eleanor, so Little Big Farm, Twitter tagged me in something give her a follow anyway this so she sent me the video via we transfer so you get the full quality of it because it is so funny so the guy is disgruntled because the combine was going round the field and it put dust on his sandwich so this is her mum calming him down just behind you where are you where is he Hello. 
He sprayed our table twice. I don't care what you made. You wouldn't believe, would you, the irony and the fact that the sandwich is made of bread, which is made of wheat. The other thing is, he thinks they were deliberately driving around the field just to annoy him because they went around the field twice. They didn't understand that they have to cut the outside, which is what we call the headland, before we can cut the middle. Otherwise, we'd flatten the outside. I don't know whether he's drunk. He didn't look drunk, to be honest, or just, I don't know, it's completely stupid. But friend Mark put this picture underneath the tweet which is James's photograph from this morning of the view that we get out of these things when it's really dusty. So the guy was a nutter to think he could stand in front of it and stop it. He also jumped out in front of it as well the first time. So yeah, um, what a world we live in. Obviously, I remember telling you the other day about the, someone saying that they'd left the bathroom window open and they'd got dust in it when we were combining in 2020 when it was really dry. Anyway, there's just some people in the world just don't understand where the food comes from and think that we're just there to annoy them i mean didn't have any complaints last night when we were cutting till one o'clock in the morning so that was okay but um it's quite a still night really you think they'd have heard us like roaring away but maybe not anyway give her a follow anyway and we'll see, we'll see what comes of this guy maybe he'd be interested in um, giving us, us a little bit more of an opinion as to to why he thinks he, he couldn't just put something over his sandwiches or just just move for a minute or so i don't know crazy but yeah don't jump out in front of the combines natural selection that it would be otherwise I suppose oh yeah Berkshire Farm Girl as well on Instagram if you want to give her a follow first time for a few days we've been done before the sun has gone down that is uh, Gino's harvest complete now uh, Chester has been supervising on the JCB right let's go home yeah, it's a little bit different to last year. We used to just go down his drive. There's a row of little trees there that used to knock me mirrors, but now they're obviously stripping the topsoil off and putting the roadway in. Well, that was good timing. Rob's just got back on the boat at the same time. I've got back. From combining. I'm on the mini Merlot moving the pusher out of the way and it looks dead funny, I think. It doesn't look it from inside the cab because it just looks like any other Merlot, but let me get out and show you. Ta da! This is the mini pusher. <whistles> right, here's today's birthday bumper. So, Stuart, Andy, Wayne, James, Shane, Chris, Sylvia, is it? I think. Have I spelled that wrong? I don't know. And Charlie. Happy birthday, everyone on there and anyone else who's birthday on that. Like I say, we're nearly £8,000 which is pretty amazing so thank you everyone for the kind donations anyway that is all for today thanks for watching we will see you all tomorrow got an amazing guest outro done with farm simulator so here it is <laughs>